global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. And from all indication, it seems God is raising men who will stand for the truth and will defend the truth whether they will lose their life or not. And that's the case with uh, Dr. Obadiah Mailafia, who came out and opened up to Nigerians about the insurgent in the country that actually a northern governor was the leader of the Boko Haram. And he made so much exposition to the extent that most of us were really scared for him. But guess what? A day after, as you have already been informed via our listing um, channel, he was invited to DSS to come and give uh, full details of what he said. Possibly they carried out some investigation. He didn't go there all alone, but he went in the company of a lawyer, a senior advocate of Nigeria. And some persons also believe that he went with protesters who were by the DSS office in Joss. After six hours, he has been released, and we have an information that he had decided to leak out to Nigeria after the six-hour drill by the DSS. According to him, the ex-deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Obadaya Malafia, has insisted that a northern governor is Boko Haram's leader. Mm. My Lafia stated this on Wednesday while speaking with journalists shortly after he was released by Department of State Services, DSS. The DSS detained him for questioning for over six hours in their George Plateau State Office. However, My Lafia made it clear he did not need to retract the statement he made during a recent interview. My Lafia, who arrived at the office the DSS office around 12.30 p.m. along with his lawyers did not leave until 6.40 p.m. On his claim, he said, Yes, all of those words were made by me. If the rule of the 55 minutes or if the whole of 55 minutes was played out, the context of what I said would have become clearer. This is not the time to disown what I say. Yes, I was privy to some very sensitive information which all statements are entitled to have by virtue of our public rule. I know that I should have collaborated some of the information I received, but perhaps some of it was uncollaborated. I was in no position to follow them to the camp to collaborate what was going on. My Lafia added that I must never give up of, on Nigeria. If need be, I will die for Nigeria. Meanwhile, the Northern Governor Forum has called for an investigation into the claims. Wow, this is uh, a, a welcome development for people to stand up to defend the country that they have found themselves. Don't forget that the issue that is currently trending, that this issue of insurgent has been for from the start of democracy till today. And guess what? What we are seeing is very progressional. I'm talking about the art group. At first, it started as if it was a joke. It was going to be written off after a time. Before we know, the thing started increasing. And, you know, not just increasing, but we started noting, noticing some statement of some certain persons via the media. They kind of showed some level of support. Possibly, they didn't know that the python, that they, that small snake they saw, Asadin was going to turn out to be a dragon, which is affecting virtually all the states in Nigeria. Even it affected even to the president's state. I'm talking about Casina. We hear scores of dead almost on a weekly basis. If they're not hitting Casina, they are hitting this other place and like that. And then there's a new one also that came up. We know it full and it hates men also. They are doing even worse than what Boko Haram are doing against Nigeria. Now, what we need now is people who are ready to open up the secrets that have been hidden for a while. Because the truth of the matter is... This issue of insurgency cannot be solved except Nigerians, real Nigerians, people who are responsible, are privy to some information and make it very, very open. And I think with that, a lot of these issues will be handled. They've called for investigation into it. But unfortunately, we issues like this, before you know, even when they investigate it, 
and the result will be buried and nobody will know. But I believe that with uh, what uh, uh, Dr. Obadaya has told Nigerians, that he's ready to treat anything to make sure that Nigeria become what it should be. I, I feel that at that point, it should awaken the consciousness of the youth for us to gang up behind this man and see um, if it's possible to make him part of the leadership of Nigeria so that this issue can be solved once and for all. Don't forget that so many years ago, uh, Abacha, who was uh, the former military, uh, late military ruler in Nigeria, said something touching. And what he said was that, that the issue of terrorists or any security issue cannot last for one year. If it does, it therefore means there is an insider who is regulating the whole show. And from all the indication, based on the video that this man, uh, you know, video he opened up all of that secret, you will know that truly those words were actually true. Because I tell you the truth, the way Nigeria is going, if that is not handled, then we are going to face very turbulent situation. And... Um, if you had listened to what he said, he made Nigerians to know that these guys are very progressional and they have different stages of the attack. One of it that he mentioned was that come 2022, they are going to invade the urban centers, that's the urban cities. And when they invade the cities, they are going to kill some key people and that may turn Nigeria to a war torn zone, that, that may trigger civil war. And un unfortunately, based on some of the things he has said, he said they are all in our forests, which is not just from him alone. Many people have authenticated this. But I mean, the, the, the bottom line here is that those who know that their voices, when it is heard, can kind of influence certain things, can trigger certain things. I think as at this point, if they have any information for Nigeria, they need to speak. You saw what happened in the United States of America. There is no cure for COVID-19. There's no cure. There's no cure. A woman, Stella Emanuel, came out. Dr. Stella Emanuel came out and even put her life and her own profession online. That's put it. If, if it means that I'm not going to be a doctor again, no problem. But I know so well that if this and this and this is done, this whole issue of uh, uh, COVID-19 and all of that will be fixed today. The war is happy. The United States of America have a cure. Even Russia also, I think France is part of it. So we need people to wake up and begin to speak out concerning what is happening. We are waiting to give full update about, because I know that this whole thing has not ended. Most people, if you go to the social media, they are scared and they're thinking that uh, the man may be killed at one point or the other. But I believe that if we join forces and refuse to slack back join forces and see how we can fight this issue of insurgency by leaking all forms of information with clear-cut evidence that we have, this issue will be a thing of the past. Nobody's happy to see our southern Kaduna brothers being killed the way they are murdered almost every now and then, cause of death, you know. And these guys, when they step out, you, you realize that they are out to annihilate the entire, you know, southerners, because they won't even leave children. At, at least someone can go in and have pity on the children and say, okay, let's not kill the children. But they don't even want a generation to exist. They want to make sure that everybody is totally, from the south, is totally eradicated. That's the plan. But hey, we've got a big country which was never given to Fulanis, which was never given to, to, to the North. It was given to all of us. And if we must stay together, then we must be ready to protect it and to make sure that we see it come to its full glory, you know. And I, I feel that what Dr. Obadiah has shown right now is a pointer to the fact that more people like him, more influential people like him need to wake up and needs to speak forth and needs to take necessary action. And the youth have a responsibility to be behind them to ensure that this whole nonsense we are seeing in the country is brought to an end.